Hey everybody, Common Villager here. Well, the votes are in, sort of. The votes actually got tied and I used a random drawing generator to see which scenario I would actually be playing. And it looks like we're going to be going with Star Salvage, which is a scenario made by a YouTuber I haven't watched in a while. He's a really good guy, um, know-it-all DM. He's uh, also actually did videos of uh, Reach for Jita when it first came out. But uh, he has uh, been working on this scenario for quite a while. I remember first playing this uh, quite a while ago, probably a good, oh, maybe a couple years ago. I went, uh, went down, or, you know, it's been a while since I had first played this. But uh, he has definitely been working on the scenario since then. There's actually multiple locations you can start out in. So what is Star Salvage? Star Salvage is a very unique uh, scenario in my opinion. You essentially don't have uh, access to the blueprint factory. And so um, not only that, but there are certain uh, classes if you will. And I forget what they're all are. No one is like a uh, scout, and one's like an engineer, and a medic, and uh, uh, something else. But uh, each class has its own. Uh, oops, excuse me. Each class has its own uh, unique uh, skill set, and you will be uh, proficient and limited at the same time. Like, say, if you chose scout and not engineer you know you would be able to do certain things but you wouldn't be able to craft certain things and that's where the salvage part kind of comes in uh, there's a lot to it I've played the more recent version not too awful long ago it was pretty fun I'm not really sure I haven't had much time to think about it but I wanted to look at the different uh, things here we have the easy mode which is the crest cryo module and there's a little story there. I'm not going to read it. It's just because there's a, a lot of uh, dialogue I didn't feel like going through. We've got that one. And then there is uh, the regular escape pod. This might be one that we may go to if we decide to go with a temperate planet. Let's see. Or we got another one here. Now this one's a little more difficult. This is another Crest uh, Cryo module. Uh, let's see here. This is a another. Uh, let's see. Another uh, raid uh, arid planet. You can't breathe in it. I'm thinking maybe this one starts out in the desert, which is uh, kind of difficult. <laughs> uh, I have done one similar to that. Okay. Starship Graveyard, there, I guess that's one he's still working on. Another, an, an Orbit one. And this one is a uh, Escape Pod one with no story in it. Hmm. And then there's like a really hard one. I don't think I'm going to try that one. Hmm. Give me a sec here. I have done some of the medium crest cryo module stuff, but <laughs> honestly, in my opinion, it's uh, one of those, I mean, playing by myself, I don't mind it being slow, but it's really slow starting out because, uh, I mean, at least for me, I'm not the <laughs> best Imperium player, but uh, what I may go through, even though it's easy. I may start out here because uh, even though it won't be very hard, there's still a lot to do. I mean, uh, gathering resources, and you'll see. We'll we'll. I spent too much time explaining. And need to actually start the video. So apparently, it's a large planet. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Let's see here. 
Let's see, let's generate a random seed for this in case anybody wants to follow along with me. It's eight, nine, three, four, four, five. I'll go ahead and set that. Eight, nine, three, four, five, five. Let's just uh, rename this game to uh, Star Salvage Playthrough. There we go. Okay, all that's done. Uh, difficulty settings. Let's go here. I didn't think about that. Starting equipment. Uh, we'll make it hard. Keep inventory and death. Uh, we'll do the toolbars. Uh, play progression slow. Degradation speed. I like to keep that one on slow. And these are usually... I leave these normal. Ore deposits. We're not going to find... At least on this starter plant we're not going to find any ore deposits at all enemy difficulty and everything I'm going to leave normal constructor craft speed will go to fast blueprint will uh we'll do fast oh wait blueprint never mind <laughs> blueprint doesn't basically doesn't exist in this uh, scenario so there's that block limit I don't know anything about those but I'm going to set true to check mass volume and uh, CPU points uh, just because I have uh, learned to uh, play with those on. Anyway, let's get to it. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to load in. But yeah, you can kind of get to see, like, gives you a little bit of a, a heads up thing. He's definitely done a lot since, like, the very last time. I had talked to him on his YouTube channel. Uh, he has definitely uh, added a lot to the game. So I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be different. It's uh, not entirely like difficult, difficult, but you, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> um, it's definitely something different for sure. So planets are loading in. So yeah, you kind of get the... I like this because you kind of get to see a little bit of what it's about before uh, everything and uh, apparently there's been so if you look over here on the right and there's a panel over here and it talks about updates and stuff um, I don't know how often he gets to work on this I don't know if this December uh, 09 was from last year or not but uh, this uh, scenario even got attention on uh, Spanja's channel he actually did uh, a playthrough of a uh, one of the uh, planets on a on, in the scenario of a star salvage, but uh, anyway, it, this this is going to be for someone like me. I I, I think it's neat. It's definitely going to uh, be a creative thing for sure. Okay, emergency situation detected. Termination of suspended animation complete. Welcome back, Common Village Place. I'm afraid I must inform you that we have not arrived at our intended destination. Furthermore, assessment of the damage to the cryomoduling indicates that it has been its current position for at it has been at its current position for at least ten years, possibly more. Uh, what limited information I have indicated uh, indi Oh, I have indicates that the cryo module has been ejected from the U.S. Taurus and has crashed on a planet with a breathable atmosphere. Beyond that, I have no further information. Perhaps one of the consoles in this module remain, uh, retains some information about the situation. Try to find a working console and see if I can... I, I, yeah, try to see if I can find any data somewhere. Let's see, console, looks like a console up here maybe, okay, this terminal appears to be working, attempting data retrieval, I have uncovered a log entry from the captain of U.S. Taurus, playback initiating. Arrival log entry 2, it appears that the inhabitants of this galaxy are not as friendly as we hoped. An alien ship of unknown origin arrived soon after we began broadcasting our distress signal, but instead of coming to our aid, they attacked us without warning. 
We are currently on an uncontrolled collision course uh, with the planet. I have ordered that attached modules be ejected so that if we happen to explode on impact, they might survive. Okay, so there is the situation. Okay, why oh, is there more? Am I supposed to... Huh. Oh. Net. Oh, and I didn't even see that down there. Okay. One thing you will notice... Um, oh, got more. Never mind. I'll explain here in a sec. I've saved the log record in your journey book in your PDA. You should try to find more crew logs. Anytime you find another crew log, I'll record it in your journey book. Okay. It appears that U.S. Taurus was attacked by a species native to this galaxy. If I could link to the Taurus communication system, I may be able to pick up signals from the area and learn more about this race. I'll try and scan the area. I might pick up the U.S. Taurus distress signal if it is still active. Okay. While I scan the area, I suggest you review your basic training courses. I'll let you know when I try to when I find something. Very well. In order to help you survive in any hostile environment, uh, the United Earth Fleet has provided you with the option to undertake basic training, which, once complete, will allow you to specialize in one or more areas of training. And this is important, too. I don't know if you can actually skip this or not, but this is actually important. So, yeah. Congratulations, you completed this mission and getting started. Okay, here we go with another uh, topic. Learning to defend yourself from hostile creatures will keep you alive longer. Your survival tool has a defense mode which is used for defending yourself against hostile creatures when you have no other weapons. Open your inventory and craft and equip a survival tool. Once you have your survival tool equipped, use it to defeat a creature. Got it. Okay, before I go on, um, Oh, actually, another thing. Oh, look at my uh, actual miscellaneous settings. I'm actually from the States, so I still use the old school Fahrenheit system. So, anyway, that, that'll make more sense to me. Anyway, um, let's uh, look at up here at the upper right hand corner where it says uh, up the number 02, which is right above uh, Craft a Tool. That is our radiation. It is constantly going up. It doesn't go up that, that high, but it will start going up uh, a little bit at a time. So eventually we will, uh, we are just slowly becoming irradiated, I guess you could say. Now some of these actually work as beds, these little cryo chambers, but I wonder if some of them might contain something. I was thinking maybe they did, but maybe I was wrong about that. But anyway, let's uh, do what the tutorial said. I actually had not had time, much time to uh, edit my avatar. This is not the way I like it to look, but this is uh, actually, I think, one of the newer models or something. Anyway, enough of that. Um, let's go to our constructor, and of course, just like in regular Imperion, you can craft a survival tool right out of your a little survival constructor thing. We'll go ahead and get that going. A simple little uh, quest objective there. Looks like it's raining outside. I don't guess we still have to be in here, so let's go ahead and head out. It's raining. So this is, of course, the cryo module. I don't think you can build onto this. I think it actually has a core but there's no real access to to the core itself. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Let's grab this and put it in our inventory and see what happens. Oh, we're supposed to learn to defend ourselves, right? Okay. So, let's see here. This is just like regular uh, Risa, uh, you know, beginner tool. Whatever. <laughs> I just can't think right now. Anyway, yeah, we're going to find us some hostile creatures. Uh, there is mushrooms to pick up and everything, but I'd rather just leave them as they are until I find a way to preserve them. 
They'll definitely help out with medicine later on. Anyway, let's get out there and see if we can find some bugs. Also, we might as well go ahead and be harvesting things like uh, wood and rocks. And there are, like, you know, little samples of uh, iron and copper and stuff here and there. Or at least there was in the first place that I did on the temperate planet. So let's try to go find somewhere where we can gather up some creatures. Uh, somewhere. Kill a creature. Kill a creature. And while we're gonna at the while we're here, we'll go ahead and uh, use resource mode to get a little bit of uh, wood since there's some. A little bit of wood here and there, of course, if we go all the way over there, there's a bunch of trees in the forest, which will work just fine. Oh, I do like that much better. I don't know if that's, uh, okay, we got a hostile coming. Got a hostile. Okay, got more than one hostile. Well, that's good, too, because we can uh, actually get food. I don't know if this is... If this is the new beam by Imperion, or this one was made, because some of them are made like in the Reforged Eden, they remade like the like the lasers and stuff and the sound effects and everything. Let's uh, fry us a spider here. There we go. Go ahead and get his goodies. Got some alien teeth and DNA stuff, whatever it's called. There's that one. As you, you notice here, even the meat and stuff's a little bit different. There's spider eggs too. Just uh, a little bit of different stuff this time. So, open the PDA to continue. I think that's F1. So, we, okay. Common villager plays. I have located an energy signature that matches the distress signal of U.S. Taurus. It's not too far away. You should head toward the signal at the very least. We should find out what happened to the rest of the ship and the crew. Right. You should try to use your survival tool to gather up as many resources as possible on the way. Use the resource mode to gather surface rubble that contains various scrap and components. Don't forget to pick any useful plants along the way. Right. Okay, and we also get a junk rifle. And... With the junk rifle, it's not great. It's almost like the pistol. Maybe a little bit worse than the pistol. Well, there's our objective, the U.S. Taurus. We're not worried about that just yet. What we need to do now is uh, try to get us some carbon sustrate. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll find some carbon nodes somewhere? I'm going to say probably not. But essentially... We're going to want to craft us uh, a portable constructor so we can actually uh, cook us some bug meat, <laughs> essentially. So, go ahead and set this back to resource mode. I really hope this is the... Oh, wow. Yeah. You can uh, mow the lawn this way, too, if you wanted to. Not a bad way to, well, if you do it very carefully and not like that. I guess you could mow the grass out of the way. Pretty cool. Oh, uh, we might go ahead and... Ah, uh, that'll take forever. That's a big one. We will need a little bit of stone and uh, wood to make some carbon so straight. Only thing is, we can't make it in our thing. Oh, there's also a uh, little salvage tool, which we'll want to make, but we need some steel plate and electronics for that. This is a really neat uh, scenario. But, like, let me show you something. So, if we hit that 3, so you'll notice, you know, we have 10 unlockable points, but uh, there's different ones. Here's large devices, there's engineering, but you have to be specialized in engineering. Then there's small devices. There's st certain things we can craft, but. Uh, there are certain things like if you want to make your own medicine, you have to have a specialization for that. And uh, like, uh, what's the next one? Like exploration, you have to have an exploration. This used to be like the scout thing, but it's been renamed. 
And then there's the combat specialization. So a lot of this stuff is just locked. So there's not a whole lot that we can craft. So we are kind of uh, at a loss for... You know, it's not like regular Imperium when you have uh, everything as, you know, as long as you have the required level. But, yeah, so anyway, we definitely need to find some resources. I'm not really sure if we'll find any uh, actual little nodes or not, but we definitely need to get out there and uh, figure out a way. We definitely need some carbon substrate. We've got the wood for it, but we will need a constructor somehow. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> we do have a salvage tool, so if we find some junk, we can just salvage and then we'll get... Yeah, not a big deal. It's not hard. It's just you have to kind of think a little differently than you would a normal Imperion because... Um, things are just different. It's more on the uh, on the salvage side than it is, uh, you know, mining resources and then you know constructing stuff. Whereas this one, it's mainly focused on salvaging. So I don't think this is like a reforged Eden where your little starter survival tool has a uh, actual detector on it. I know in the reforged Eden there was a uh, actual detector thingamajigger. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's some silicon. Uh, I don't know if who, whoever improved upon the... Yeah. So you noticed instead of getting like ores, we actually get parts. So we've almost got enough. We actually got enough to make a O2 condenser. So we really don't need it right now. Uh, but you would definitely need that if you were playing uh, in the desert part because you'd have to learn how to manufacture your own oxygen and so that's another issue so let's look around for those little bitty silicon rocks our food is starting to get pretty low but uh hopefully our food <laughs> our food won't spoil by the time we're able to get a constructor to actually uh craft but there are more bugs though i see in the distance if we need to actually deal with that um, let's see here I think there might be some smaller rocks over here but we are uh, definitely in a wasteland for sure yeah this that's not that I think there's one over here maybe no oh there's something over there is some uh, unusual oh those are uh, drones never mind actually you know what yes we're going to attack these because uh, they do have good parts on them. We need their parts. Give me your parts. Thank you. Oh, don't give me that stuff. Coolant. Oh, here we go, here we go. Wait a minute. Give me your junk. Okay, we found a wreckage. It's fine on me. This is mine. All your salvage belongs to me. Come back here. You know what? I've got other things to do. Well, anyway, well, let's begin salvaging. This is taking forever. But, we don't have a choice right now. We get up my uh, other uh, bit here. As long as you don't attack me, I won't attack you. You guys are a little bit nosy, you know. Okay, salvage. That's mine, thank you very much. You guys actually want me to shoot, huh? You like that? Get away from me. Okay, anyway, let's see. Salvage, uh... What do we need? We need... We needed still place for something, didn't we? And I didn't forget what it was. Um... Oh, this thing. Yes, this thing. Oh, we almost have enough to... Oh, but we have to... We'll have to unlock it, too. 
anyway. Gosh, makes me wonder if they will attack me. Okay, um, let's go here to Tech Tree and small devices. I'm thinking this is, uh, I think you have to, um, oh yeah, engineering, not that for sure. Salvaging, basic tool, we have to be level three to get the basic tool. So we're stuck with our little salvage tool on our survival tool thingy until we can actually get an actual, uh, whatever that is, salvage tool thing, which is going to be better. It's almost like a multi-tool, but much better than a multi, not much better, but it's the next best thing to a multi-tool, I should say. Alright, so that means I guess, uh, might as well try to attack you guys and level up a little bit. I don't know if I get much experience from that. Uh. There we go. Yeah, I get a little bit of experience. Medical scrap. Oh, I remember the scrap now. I'll try to explain more of that later. It's been a while. So I'm going to have to kind of go back to that. I want to wonder if there's actual a, actually a, um, a car, uh, cargo box in this. We'll do a little bit of checking here. I remember when you used to be able to gather the iron rocks and stuff, but I'm thinking they've actually removed all that. You might find them here and there, but yeah, not very much. Well, anyway, we could sit there and mess with these guys, but we're going to just keep going. Got a lot of exploring to do. We're well, going to have to... Our food is almost spoiled. Man. Yeah, we definitely need to get that carbon substrate somewhere. I didn't see anything on that little wreckage. But, uh, yeah. Well, let's just keep going. We're gonna have to find some kind of food, even if it's, uh, even if we get lucky and find, uh, some plant protein. Speaking of plant protein, we could probably go out to a lake or something, which I did not think about. Even though it's gonna be more irradiated, out the the water will be more irradiated. Okay, there's a there's an actual uh, looks like an HV over here. We'll see if we can find a little bit of stuff from it. Food would be great, but uh, we'll take what we can get. I guess our food is down to 95, so we're gonna have to get some food soon. I was hoping that we could get uh, some carbon substrate somehow. That's what we need desperately right now. Whoa, a power quill. I'll definitely take that. Um, cargo box. Wow, a drill charge. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty generous, actually. An exploratory scrap and engineering scrap. These are all useful for something. I don't forget what, but we'll we'll get more into that later on. Uh, there's no really no carbon substrate unless. I can't really tell if these are actual... Yeah, carbon composite blocks. There we go. Ah, I didn't get nothing from it, did I? Carbon composite. Here we go. No, I'm not getting any carbon substrate. Dang it. Uh, destroyed steel blocks. Yeah. Okay. Nah, I'm not getting any... Oh, yeah, I am. I need... I only need one more for the uh, constructor. Beautiful. Then we will rule the world. Oh gosh. Meat's about to spoil. Hurry. Oh. Come on, man. <laughs> I need... Why? Ah, uh, my food's gonna spoil. Dang it. Well, let's see if we can uh, forge anything, because we are uh, in dire straits as far as our health and our well, food is concerned. I should be a little careful too, although it's not going to be too difficult through here. Whoa, those drones are kind of spooky. Just seeing them out in the middle of nowhere. I've actually not played in the forest area since they've actually, uh, you know, 
Oh, plant fibers are kind of useful. Okay, got some. Oh, here we go. Here's some plant fiber. Because our food is going to spoil by the time I get my, uh, I just need like one carbon substrate to, wait, here we go, here we go. Oh gosh, come on. Oh, oh hello, here's some more meat. That's good. Oh, what am I worried about? There's spiders everywhere. And it's kind of hard for me to see and I don't got a light. Which also sucks. Ouch, I'm getting bit. Which is not good. But there are some rocks out here. So we'll have some food. Ah. Ah. Uh, radiation is already at point 0.1. But. Anyway. Alright, let's just grab this guy's stuff. Well, I was going to try to, but then. Ah, uh, get off of me. Well, never mind, there's plenty of these spiders. There we go. We got more meat. Ah, uh, come on now. Okay, dokie. Where are you going? Where are you going, huh? Alright, let's get their meat. That should refresh. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. So if you find more meat, the spoil degrade time will go up, which is great. Is that all of them? Uh, there's probably more spiders, but uh, time is definitely of the essence. And I'm having the alt tab out to check my time because... I don't have my little monitor anymore. Since I had the, since I upgraded my computer, my older monitor kind of became obsolete. But not a big deal. I'll eventually get me another one. Oh, finally, we can finally craft a supportable constructor. Uh, we are now doing good. There is some uh, very useful. What was that? Oh, okay. Talon Warriors, okay. Oh, level 3 has been reached. Okay, since level 3 has been reached, let's go to our tech tree. And we'll go, was it salvaging? We'll go ahead and unlock the basic salvage tool. A very useful tool. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and put that in queue. There's that. Spice, we really don't need spice right now. We don't got any way to store it and keep it uh, from spoiling. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Did I not pick? Yeah. There's some natural sweetener. That'll heal us a little bit. And give us a slight amount of uh, sustenance. Not much, but I guess every little bit will help. There's some more plant protein, too. Let's go ahead. Natural sweetener. We'll eat that real quick and heal up. Not the... Not the power coil. <laughs> We're not going to eat that. <laughs> anyway, the sun is starting to set. It's getting darker. So, actually, can we... Uh, okay, we got this. Very good. We're going to need a place to camp. So, anyway, let me go ahead and grab some other stuff. I'm going to get experience points by doing this at the same time. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of uh, plant protein, which will definitely help. So... Let's... Yeah, there's a big old dinosaur over there. Let's see. Let's try to find... Uh, a, see if there's a, a little lake or something nearby. I just like camping by the lakes because... It's... I just like camping by the water. Anyway... Oh, there's vegetables and stuff too. Very nice. Yeah, here we go. Here's a lake over here. So let's just head over here real quick and then we'll go ahead and set up camp. Because uh, we've still got a little way, quite a few ways to go. We have to, uh, we're going to have to put our uh, constructor down and all that good stuff. It's getting dark. Let's go ahead. We'll probably set up camp right about here somewhere. There we go. 
plop this down. Well, first of all, put our bug meat in here and get us some food, some cooked bug meat. This stuff, you, I, I think you can make some soup out of it. Spider eggs, but you need spice. Oh, and purified water. So, actually, one of these uh, O2 condensers isn't actually a bad idea. So let's, I guess we can go ahead and make one. We'll set it by our constructor. It's dark. But I don't have, uh, you know what, I can though. Let's uh, go ahead. Okay, bug meat. We've got a little bit of cooked bug meat. Let's go ahead and get us some food. Because uh, we really, there we go, that hits the spot. We definitely need the food for sure. So let's grab that. Got the food still cooking. It does use quite a bit of meat to get a little bit of this. You don't get much out of it. But at the same time, um, we will find uh, other ways to uh, enhance our hunger and stuff. Just for now, I'm going to go ahead and use this little bit of plant protein I have found and turn them into protein bars so I'll we'll have some food handy. So this thing, I think I need a uh, some kind of salvage, what's the ammo, salvage charge. So I'm guessing it takes the regular salvage charges. Salvage charge. There's, yeah, salvage charge. So we need engineering scrap. So we'll keep all this in the constructor. So scrap. We don't got enough scrap. We need steel plates. Let's just go ahead and chuck some stuff in here. Uh, a few different things. We'll just put that in there. It may spoil, but it's going to happen. Junk shards. I'm going to leave those. Be, I really need to see if I can make me a survival tent. Actually, you know what? How many plant fibers does it take? Can I craft one here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, carbon sustrate. Really? Uh, well, I do have rock. Let's see. So how many is it? Is it seven? Make sure. Yeah. Seven. So let's see if we can craft seven then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I'll go ahead and grab this little bit of uh, nourishment and get us a little bit more to eat. Now our food's doing pretty good. It's a nice moonlit sky. It's dark, but we're just getting started out here and I de definitely do not want to risk it. I'd rather be out here in in the daylight so anyway oh we only got three what do we need stone okay we're gonna have to find us some stone <laughs> oh. lovely okay well anyway it is what it is just gotta be careful there could be uh raptors here at night Ooh, iron rubble nice i will definitely take that got some ooh still plates what oh vegetables right um rocks here's some rocks here we go crushed stone because we need that carbon sustrate okay taking forever but uh okay we'll see oh also we get oil slate I think you can make certain types of fuel with it. I remember a long time ago talking to him about like different types of fuels that he was going to try to add to the game. It's been like quite a while though. Anyway, let's go ahead and add all these in. I'm going to still play. We need four more carbon substrate. While that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and uh, gather more wood. Oh yeah, these provide plenty of logs. Nice. Very, very nice. Wonderful. Got some... Do need to make medicine. The only problem with making medicine is that, uh... We don't have the required skill. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay, we got a carbon substrate. Let's do... 
this. Make a survival tent. Okay, we're good on food for now. I need to find another vegetable that can make me some vegetable juice to heal up with a little bit more, but oh well. Okay. Wait, did I not? I thought I had... Oh yeah, never mind, never mind. I was thinking wrong. Okay, here's our survival tent. Here we go. Let's just place it down here. Very nice. We'll go ahead and sleep for eight hours. Okay. It's still night, but dawn will probably be coming soon. So, anyway, let's see. Yeah. The moon's starting to set. Anything else I need to do? Let's see if I can actually make some more of these junk shards in case I might need to defend myself. They are made out of steel plates. Let's make about uh, 10 of them. Just so we'll have them. Alright, while that's doing this thing, I wonder if we can make us a little bit of fuel. Or any kind of biofuel or any kind of fuel. Salvage blocks. Okay. Treath and all. Wood chips. And how do we make wood chips? Wood planks. How do we make wood planks? Oh, wood logs. Okay. Well, essentially, we're just going to try to make as much of, uh, well, maybe like a few of them. Just to get our O2 condenser going. So, anyway sun should be coming up soon where do we want to go I want to find more salvage that's for sure let's see here we we could go over here back to that junk vessel we just simply need more stuff I guess we'll just kind of head off into the wilderness there's uh, another vegetable I'm going to pick and make me some uh vegetable juice I can use that to heal with there's another vegetable maybe we'll find more along the way actually real quick like I got my uh, little survival to here I'm gonna right click and make that a waypoint we'll make that a little now we'll just say I would just leave it at survival tent or just say tent for Singular, there we go, there we go, and now we got us uh, a waypoint, so wherever we're traveling, we'll know that our survival tent and stuff is over here. Yeah. Like I said, it's getting dark. I mean, it's dark, but the sun should be coming up here in a little bit. I didn't want to travel through the dark, but uh, we may not have much choice. Get up my shard thingy in case I need to kill something. What do we got here? We've got some kind of resource here. This rock. Okay. Anyway, let's travel in the moonlight while we have it, I guess. I'm trying to be careful at the same time because I'm not really sure what it is we will find out here. Okay. There's the moon. Whoa. I thought I heard something coming. Alright. It's hoping we might could see or find some kind of salvage somewhere, but we're just out here by Big River, apparently. Huh. Ah, oh, some more plant fiber. We do need to make some bandages, just in case we may need them. Oh, here's some more, uh... Well, that's way off in the, over there, though. I kind of wanted to follow the coast over here. Until we found, uh, like a plane or something. Sorry if you can't see very well. <laughs> it is kind of, uh... Kind of dark. I was hoping that... <laughs> The sun would come as soon as the moon is starting to set, though. But yeah, and also, like I've said, uh, the actual uh, under the water there is usually plant fiber. It's really dark over here. 
I think it's because the sun's starting to set. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, I can't see a thing out here. Ah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it's like completely dark. I really hate how they messed up the lighting in this game. Uh, but, yeah. Just trying to follow the river because I can't really see right now because it's so dark. Just kind of having to follow the coast here. This has turned out to be not the best episode to start out with, but, uh... Okay. Let's see here. I can kind of see a little bit now. Here we go. The sun is starting to poke through here. Let's go through here. There's a little bit of a path here. Yeah. We can walk across. We might have to swim a little bit. Oh, no, no. We don't have to swim. Never mind. But the sun is uh, coming up. Got us a little bit of vegetable juice. We'll go ahead and drink. And we'll go ahead and make us a little bit more. Why not? Whoa. I hear something that I do not want to mess with. Which is an alien. I don't know where he's at, but uh, I don't want him to find me either. <laughs> Oh, those guys you don't want to mess with. Okay, anyway. So. The name of the game is salvaging for the most part. We need to find the U.S. Taurus. Uh, which is uh, quite a ways away now. But I was just trying to find more salvage. So, I guess... heard something. Yep. Oh, gosh. Alien bugs. Alien bugs. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ooh. Ooh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, man. Those guys mean business. I'm almost dead. That's not good. I really need to make me a bandage. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find. I got. Do I got plant fibers? Yeah, I got a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Ugh. What a mess. Yeah, the Taurus is way over there. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm not going to find any plant fibers now that I need them. I may just head back close to camp. Yeah, why is that back on? It says 100 degrees Celsius, but that can't be right. That's like burning up temperature. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, here's some... Uh, here we go, here we go. There's that. There's some print plant protein. We should be able to make at least one. There we go. I'm going to head... I'm going to try to head back uh, well, camps over this way. Might as well head over to the Taurus. At least uh, be on that way. Okay. Let's see. We do need the spice to make those uh, that soup. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's some natural sweetener. Here is... Uh, more of that. Let's see. We'll definitely eat that up. Heal up a little bit. Let's go ahead and use our bandage. We need more plant fibers to make more bandages. Let's grab plant protein at the same time. That that bug just man. Okay. Anyway. Oh, well, that was weird. Got a lot of plant uh, protein out here, which is good, because I do need the bandages, so make as many of them as I can. I'm going to try to head to the Taurus. At least get close to it before we end the episode. We have def definitely spent a good amount of time in this episode just trying to get set up and everything. Let's see here. 
There's three bandages. That will help out. There we go. All healed up now. There we go. Oh, the sun is definitely up now. But... So far I'm not seeing a lot of salvage out here. There might be something over there. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Starting to heal up pretty good. Oh gosh, not another annoying cricket. Just try to keep my distance from it. My hunger's doing pretty good. I'm not really needing to hunt or anything, but uh... Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I'm gonna run. Making a run for it. <laughs> run while you can. Yeah, let's try to make it to the Taurus before I end the episode. It's not too awful far away. We end out here in this grass. And I kind of like the way they did it. I, I, I like that they made, more, made it more lush and it kind of makes it harder to see stuff. But at the same time, man, you got to be watching out for what you're doing for sure. <sighs> got to keep an eye on everything. Yeah, let's run. We get hungry. I got some protein bars. But let's try to close the gap. And go ahead and make it to this Taurus thing with Jigger. Hopefully we won't run into any trouble. I'm really hoping we don't because I don't really have a way to uh, defend myself. I've got a gun, but it doesn't work that great. You basically have to do a lot of headshots just for it to work very well. Yeah, we're getting closer. But we'll go ahead. It's probably over this hill. We'll go ahead and check out the Taurus, which is part of our objective anyway, so. Yeah, let's see here. Let me go ahead and make sure I got my gun out. Oh, yep. There's another one. Run, spiders. I don't have time. I mean, of course, in the regular game, you got all the time in the world, but uh, when you're recording, you don't, so. Okay, I have discovered a new POI, the Taurus. Whoa, okay. I hope this thing isn't guarded. <laughs> uh, I guess if it is, we'll get blown to bits. Oh, we got some salvage over here too, nice. Wow, okay. The Taurus, whoa, okay. Oh, leave me alone, I'm busy. I gotta find the Taurus, gotta go discover things. Well, so far I'm not being shot, which is good. Okay, it appears that the Taurus largely survived the crash landing in tech. Uh, yeah. Despite the massive structural damage, it appears that someone has augmented the ship's power systems with several solar panels and a capacitor. Perhaps some of the consoles on the ship have more logs that can give us a clue to what happened to the crew and possibly tell us where to go to find the rest of the United Earth fleet. Looks like I have my work cut out for me. So anyway, gosh, where are they? I don't know, don't care. You know, I'm just going to get over here real quick and get away from them. Okay, so here we are at the Taurus. We're to search the wreckage of the Taurus and uh, we'll see... Wow, the thrusters are still going. Crazy. But anyway, y'all, I hope you will enjoy this series. I'm not the best at this uh, scenario. Well, there's actually somebody there. Okay. Um, I've never really got this far. I, I don't think I've actually played the, the easy mode one. I played the more difficult one. But anyway, I'm going to have to end the episode here. So... Thank you for joining me in this episode of Star Salvage. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Anyway, y'all, we will get back at it in next episode and see what is here at the UES Taurus. Anyway, I hope you have a good one. Take care, and I hope to see you all in the next video.